Today we launch right into the movie. They're rafting down the river. They stop at this ghost town to rest overnight. There's business partners. There's families. There's a random fat guy that's lagging behind everybody. Now this looks like something we do. Yeah. Listen, Ross, about the office. Oh, come on, Al. No business talk now, huh? Relax. This weekend is strictly for fun. You need some help there, honey? <laughs> a little. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. You know, I'm a builder, and I need to tell you I've built a lot of town. hundred bucks a piece to look at a slum in a desert. <laughs> could have stayed home and done that. Bob, you suppose you could try and enjoy this just a little bit? Well, that's the last of daylight or character development we get in this garbage fire of a fucking movie. So, turn up the brightness on your screen, turn off your brain, and settle in for Scream from 1981. Hey, it's a guy sitting on a log, drinking and relaxing. And... Oh, camera's moving. And it's moving. And uh, here comes somebody. They're still coming. And uh, camera's moving back. And moving back. And, uh, he's gone! That is our first death of the movie. Oh, yeah, he's dead. He's gone. That's how they kill him. Why, movie? Why? Okay, here's more deaths that you don't get to fucking see, barely. Oh no, what is that mysterious noise? Let me investigate. <laughs> this might even be the guy I thought that died before, but he's definitely dead now. <laughs> In an inexplicable move, we know, the characters know, everybody knows that the fat guy sleeps underneath the stairs. It was an established fucking plot point. But yet, he wakes up and nobody knows where he's gone. They have formed a search party of everybody. A search party is supposed to be a certain girl. No, I'm not getting into it. But everyone goes looking for him when they know where the fuck he is. So we just get five full minutes of this guy wandering around in the dark. Hey, where is everybody? Finally, finally something happens, and it's a jump scare. And our characters are just upset about it as we are. And then this happens. What was that? 
What exactly happened? Nobody knows. Everyone in this movie has that disease from the others where if they see sunlight, they burst into fucking flames. So we aren't allowed to see the actual movie. Then some guy on a horse shows up and with a dead body of one of their friends and we get five minutes of him just fucking stalling and padding out movie time. Jerry. Ask him about Stan. Because I love you all, I will only show you one of the five minutes. There were two of them. Did you see the other? Did you see the other? I was a sailor, you know, for 40 years. Sailed the horn 35 times. Many times. We came here when they give him nary another ship. They were cruel men, them that run the ships. Company men. Now you may have noticed something about that story that one of our characters also noticed. He never told us about Stan. You're right, lady, he didn't. He rambles on for five minutes with about two minutes of silent pauses. He never tells us anything about Anybody in the movie. Anything. There's so much downtime in this movie that it is fucking crazy. I did at least 45 seconds of looking into this movie and found one review of a kid who also had no idea how this is even a movie. There's no plot. No acting. No script, no nothing. The ending is so goddamn slow that if you stayed awake during it, you're a better man than me. The best I can figure out at all is the rambling on that uh, sailor dude talked about is that the ghost of his captain is killing the people that run this company because he's morally opposed to businessmen in general. It makes no sense. Thank you for watching, and as always, I shall try to do better next time. Your bonus clip this time is, uh, I don't know, like 10 seconds of a black screen, because that's what I just watched an hour and a half of. in way better effects than this movie. I just put my thumb over the camera.